four realms of the earth. In this lesson, we shall learn about the biosphere. Dear students, you must be knowing that our earth is a member planet of the solar system. Earth has a reasonable distance from the sun. The earth provides a suitable environment which is favorable for the origin and sustain all types of plant life, animal life and human life. The life zone on the earth's surface is known as biosphere. Biosphere is dependent on lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. These are known as the realms of the earth. Lithosphere The term lithosphere is derived from Greek word lithos means rock or stone. The entire surface of the earth consisting of its crust which is made up of solid rocks is known as lithosphere. The highest point of the earth's surface is Mount Everest in the Himalayas. It is 8,848 meters above main sea level. Deepest point is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. It is 11,022 meters below the sea level. The average depth of all seas and oceans is about 4,000 meters. The continents. A continent is the largest geographical unit. Continents are big land masses. There are seven continents in the world. Asia is the largest continent, while Africa is the second largest continent, and Australia is the smallest continent. Other continents are North America, South America, Europe, and Antarctica. The landforms. The continents have different types of landform. They are generally grouped as mountains, plateaus and plains. The mountains. Mountains is a huge landmass which rises above the general level of surrounding areas. They steep side and high peaks usually rise above the height of 900 meters from the surface of the earth. A plain is a relatively flat and low-laying area. Most of the plains do not exceed more than 200 meters above sea level. The Ganga Plain, the Prairis Plains and the steppers of Eurasia are vast plains. The plains have rich soils. A plateau is an uplifted landmasses which is more or less flat at the top with steep sides. It is also called tableland. Some, some plateaus are very large and cover thousands of squares of kilometers. The peninsular plateau of India is a large plateau. The plateau of Tibet is the highest plateau. Hydrosphere The Greek word hydro means water, covers nearly 71% of the Earth's surface. The major water bodies like oceans, seas, lakes, ponds, etc. constitute hydrosphere. The oceans are large interconnected water bodies. Pacific Oceans is the largest and deepest ocean of the world. Earth is under Pacific Ocean. Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean is the deepest trench in the world. The Atlantic Ocean lies between North and South America on the West and Europe and Africa. This is S-shaped and is second largest ocean. The Indian Ocean is situated to the south of India. The Southern Ocean is formed by southern parts of the Indian Ocean. The Arctic Ocean surrounds the North Pole the water of this ocean is very cold. The atmosphere. This blanket of air surrounding the earth is known as atmosphere. 
The atmosphere extends up to about 1600 kilometers from the Earth's surface. The variation in pressure causes the air to move from high pressure to low pressure areas. The moving air is called wind. The atmosphere serves as a blanket on the Earth. It absorbs the heat of the sun and maintains temperature on Earth during day and night. The atmosphere is a mixture of number of gases, dust particles, water particles and pollen grains etc. Biosphere Biosphere includes lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. Biosphere has a huge variety of organisms. Biosphere supports nearly 10 lakh varieties of animals and about 3 lakh varieties of plants, besides all the human population. The earth provides a suitable environment for human beings to live. We grow our food from the land. The land also provides us with the variety of minerals. We build our shelter or houses on the surface of the earth. River water is also used for generation of hydroelectricity. Oceans and seas are also useful for navigation. Rapid growth of population resulted in depletion of soil, minerals and forest. Soil erosion has to be controlled, degradation of forests to be checked by planting more and more trees. In this way, balance in nature has to maintain. Summary The Earth has four realms, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. The realm of the Earth consisting of solid crust on the Earth is called lithosphere. Hydrosphere consists of oceans, seas and lakes etc. The large uplifted land mass with steep sides and flat surface is called plateau. A vast low land area, generally below the height of 300 meters above the sea level, is called plain.